Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. You're secretly an Octopuff. And JK Lantern. You're selling season tickets to the Yankees? Screw the Yankees. <laughs> oh, my dad made a big point that baseball is boring. Say that again, Rock. Baseball's fine if you're there live. I can't watch it on TV, though. If you're there watching it live, it's actually a nice, pleasant afternoon. I'm leaving town. For good. Well, good. Your accent didn't fit in with the rest of the place. Yeah, you're too much of a Yankee. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Because I'm a bastard. Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Rock knows something. Us, and a high tide has graced our town. However... Look at that, look at that array of hats that are on that tree. It looks like ours. Yeah? The tides are always changing, Pap. What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey! Partner, wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. That's not suspicious at all. No, not yet. I think I ate more than I could stomach. He tried the big chill. Oh, God. So one of the local restaurants has an ice cream dish for competition. Like a food, an eating contest, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. I don't remember what all's on it, but it's an entirely unreasonable amount of shit. Yeah. And it's like, oh, if you could finish it by yourself in 30 minutes or less, the, it's for free. What was the name of that one movie with John Candy and Dan Aykroyd in it? Oh, ow. Oh, was oh, it The oh. Great Outdoors? Something like that, yeah. There, there's a it, bit centered around that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they get Dan Aykroyd to have the... Not Dan Aykroyd, they give John, John Candy. Candy yeah. the... And just halfway through, he's almost done. He's got to eat the rest. But the rest is just gristle. Also, see, I was going to say he had the big ad. Ah, uh, the big ad. Uh. This town's going to get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. So, yes, in this stage, he is oh, still Tressa. Around. Heading home early today, huh? Particio, may I have a word with you? Particio, 
I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. And I mean, that's... I mean, it's been going strong for eight years. Yeah. You're gonna run out of silver at some point. Or a new mine will open up. He's not wrong that there's... I mean, you really need something else. Because you can't sustain on silver forever. And you, you see this with some of the oil towns in Oklahoma as well. Shoot, I saw it back in the 80s. Yeah. Silver is being mined worldwide now. And it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. Like this. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade. I'm traveling to the eastern continent. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The east is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. You know, I turned down the music way back when, and it still finds times to try to just overwhelm the voice volume. Yeah. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? That's what you have this game on, isn't it? <laughs> it is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide an Precedented power. We're entering the age of steam, Particio. I am certain of it. Huh. And managing to corner the market on steam power is going to be a little difficult. It's not exactly an, an uncommon resource. Steam, no, but... Making an actual functional steam engine is harder than you'd think. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not denying that, but just water is everywhere. Look at yourself, Victor. You'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. Thanks for the compliment. Particio, I want you to come with me. But not only is Rock leaving, he's trying to take Pap's biggest supporter. And his best worker, really. Yeah. Which, I mean, I don't blame Rock. I, I mean, I can't blame him for saying, hey, come with me. I need someone, I need someone of your abilities on my side. He is, at heart, a man of business. Yep. All, all every concern he has is, I am going to make money. Charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equals. Town behind and join me on an exciting new venture. Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy of the world. And see, that's the thing. Particio doesn't care. Not really. What, what he would do with the fortune is he would split it up with others. Wow, Mr. Yep. Rock. You're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Because Porticio sees the people. That sparkle in your eye 
and tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. See, your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Patricio. Mr. Rock. Time passes. Hmm. Gif is taking stuff from the house? Boy, everything fell pretty quickly into states of disrepair. My God, Pap's bold. Bold as a bean. Here you go, Pops. My special beef and veggie stir fry surprise. Oh boy, <laughs> smells delicious. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. That's the surprise. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir fry surprise, now would you? Hey, I got McDo. I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. So fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? You know, that's an old joke about the surprise being there's no beef here, but I still like it. It's a good joke. <sighs> Times are tough. We dig and dig, pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. And that contract I signed, biggest mistake I ever made. Well, it wasn't for eight years. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. Didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up. And then snatched the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. Since then, all the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. Eat my share, Pops. The merchant's health is the seed capital, and you need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? We're out of medicine, too. Uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. No, I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. And yeah, Particio is still quite a bit like Tressa, but that's about to change. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Because one thing Tressa didn't have was a real hardship. She never really ran into hardship. Like at all. And Porticio never really loses his idealism, but it's idealism tempered by having gone through some not fun times. Yep. Thanks. Like a kitten. That was nothing like a kitten. And a saddle merchant. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. Only I could figure out how to get back there. Looks like it's the, the ladder up there. Yeah, yeah I, I think, you, think. I think you can go up. Uh... Yeah, if you go up here. Unfortunately, it's not actually letting me get to the, uh... Yeah, I'm feeling the there we go. Well, in the way. There we go. It's there for a second. There. Go away. Go We're broke. We don't have any money for you, merchant. We gotta take your stuff. Why don't you go take a union break so we can steal your shit? This town would be in better shape with the reunions, I have the feeling. I mean, you remember the original thing that unions did? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm? Look at that person, Sprite. Isn't that Balea? That looks an awful it lot does like Balea. Look like her. Yeah. <laughs> Blue cloak and all. I mean, depending on when this is taking place, because it's roughly present, but it says apothecary. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Explain how he got the medicine easily, though. Her cheap. Still don't have much that I can actually. I don't even have much I can really sell. Yeah. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. Gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. Got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. Okay, so hang on. We're gonna let Ochet run around in the lands outside town, and you'll have all the food you want in a minute. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. Landowners' laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Harry, that's my crust. Give it back. Shut up. I'm taking it. I've got mouths to feed, too. That's enough. 
Here, I'll split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I... Horticio is a leader of men. Not the brightest bull, but, you know. Again, he's not learned, but he's a quick study. And, and he knows Sorry. when something is not his area, and he's not afraid to find someone who's an expert. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. He's very much the, the leader looks out for his team mindset. I never knew what a devil poverty was or how much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out some to do for work. Boss, it's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Gift. As if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. What silver? A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. It's never a good idea to tell someone that. Yeah. No, it's not. Especially when they outnumber you five to three. Yeah, and are currently desperate. Yeah. Also, I have to say, I really like the job this voice actor is doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This voice actor is doing the perfect job of making me absolutely hate this person. Mm hmm. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemonade. You. You. Though uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Boss. Damn it. So things are really freaking bad. But we we will uh deliver Pap his medicine next time. Because it's a good time to take a break. Mm -hmm. When we come back, the medicine and then maybe we find something we can do to actually help the town out. Yep. Yeah. But until then. Take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.